everyone, today I'm going to be doing my June favorites video and honestly I've been working every single day of June, seriously every single day since I graduated I've been working except Saturdays and I've just been sleeping. So I literally had no life. Um, so I haven't worn a ton of makeup just because I usually, I work from like 8 to 6 so I'm like super tired when I wake up in the morning so I never have time to do ma my makeup. Sometimes I do though so I only have a few products but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Concealer. And I seriously, if I wear makeup, I wear this just under my eyes. Like, this is what I've been wearing every single day. And I've always stayed away from this product because this is, says Age Rewind, so you think it's like an aging makeup product. So, um, it, it w never really appealed to me. And then I read a review on, oh gosh... Um, I think it was not a rich girl dot blogspot dot com. I sometimes I read her. Uh, I forget her name, but sometimes I read those. And she was talking about this and how it's like just not for people that um, are have aging issues. Like it's a really good under eye dark or dark circle concealer. So I was like, oh, nine bucks at the drugstore. Why not? Let's try it. I really like it. Um, it reminds me of um, my Mac. Uh, gosh, what is it? Select Moisture Cover Concealer. It has the consistency of that. It's very smooth and kind of buttery and um, it covers really well and it doesn't look like I'm wearing like sometimes it looks like I just put white gloop underneath my eyes. It blends in really well with my skin. So I really like this. Um, the only bad thing is, like I said, it's a drugstore. You can't really test um, sh your shade because it's obviously packaged. Uh, but I guessed right, so that was good job, Kira. Sometimes I don't do that. <laughs> a couple of the items I have were from my Ipsy bag. This one is the Starlux um, Lip Liner in Bare. And I didn't think I was going to like this color because it looks almost brownish, taupeish, and didn't think that was going to look so good. But it's a really nice natural color. I, I'm wearing it right now, actually, and I just put a clear gloss over it. And I like how it looks. I don't know. I've never really been a lip liner. I just dropped it. I've never really been a lip liner fan, but I like this. And I've never heard of this brand, but I like it. Um, the next item is also from my Ipsy bag. Surprise. And it's the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter. I'm wearing this right now. It takes the place of like a white matte shadow when you're doing eye looks. It just brightens up your brow bone. I swear. It, I don't know. It's really a simple tool. You can use it in the inner corners of your eye. I really like it. it. It takes the place of like a white eyeliner or a white matte shadow. It's great for travel. I like it a lot. The next item is um, my NYX powder blush in sand. And I also got this in my Ipsy bag. I have a few other NYX powder blushes, but this one's a little bit different because it is like literally a brown color. Obviously, but it's basically just like a highlighter. I don't know. I, it kind of gives a tiny bit of a bronze look. You can tell right now, I really like it. it. I like the shimmer in it, but it doesn't look cakey or muddy on me, which is surprising for a cheap product like this, but I really like this. I didn't think it was going to look good on me because my skin's so light, but I surprisingly really, really like it. Next, oops, next product is the Renewing Moroccan Argon Oil and I from Organics, and I bought this at Walmart for probably like $5 or something. I thought it might be a good alternative to, you know, like the really expensive Moroccan hair oil and like the blue packaging, which is like $50. This was only like 6 It makes my hair really super soft, surprisingly. You have to be careful because you don't want to put too much because it'll make it be greasy and you only want to put it on like halfway down the shaft or else if you put it up here, it'll feel just completely disgusting. But you have to be careful with it, but I really like how soft it makes my hair feel. I have it in today. Like, I haven't applied heat to my hair in probably a month, and my hair feels decent right now. Like, it doesn't feel as bad as it usually does, so yay for that. And the final product, you guys, I haven't shown you this yet because I haven't had a haul video, but please just get, get ready for this. Look at this. This is a Kate Spade bag. I'm not sure which style it is. I'll do some research. Like, I, I got it as a gift, a graduation gift, so I'm not exactly sure which style it is. All I know is it's pink and it says Kate Spade, and it's from Nordstrom. Like, I have the receipt. 
it is seriously the most beautiful bag I've ever owned in my entire life. I've never owned a designer bag before except like little coach wristlets and things like that, but I don't really count that. Um, yeah, it is seriously so beautiful. Like I, I'm going to do an updated what's in my bag video because this is like the most beautiful purse I've ever owned. Actually, I have a Steve Madden one, but I bought it at um, Ross for like 10 bucks, <laughs> $20 I think. I don't know. It was in my last what's in my bag video, so I think that's going to be another video I'm going to do pretty soon, so... Stay tuned for that. Um, if you guys have any other requests, let me know. If you want me to do any further reviews on any of these products, just tell me below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.